Hi folks, it's Andy here. Welcome to Year of Ambira. Um, this first video, I'm going to show you a, a few variations, two traditional variations and one my own sort of composition. And they all share um, one little structure, one little idea that I want to put in your hands today. Um, if you want to learn the variations that I'm teaching, then you can do that. But ideally, I'd like you to take this idea and sort of um, transplant it, um, impose it on the, the different song structures, the one that you've chosen in the orientation video. Awesome. So let's just um, go through these few variations. The first one is a variation for Nomi Musasa. Next one, uh, Bavarera. And the third one's my own little composition using progression six. Uh, and there's something that unites all of these. And I think you're going to find it fascinating. Here we go. So, Nomi Musasa. Next one, Bavarera. Um, I hope you thought that was a little bit pretty um, and yeah, it shares this common structure um, that's used in a lot of different Ambira songs and hopefully that will inspire you to take this idea and see if you can explore it in your own song progression. So look back to the orientation document and in the left hand we had um, root notes being played across octaves so the first part of the song for progression four would be this. Uh, chord four, six, and one. Nice, so we've got root, 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 root. Uh, and on that document, there's the option to play roots, thirds, and fifths. Roots and fifths are the most common, um, but uh, this video, you're gonna see roots, thirds, and fifths are getting used, um, and in a really sort of logical way as well, in many instances. So the left hand in the orientation document is playing six notes, for each of the four parts of the song. One, two, three, four, five, six in the first part. One, two, three, four, five, six in the second part. Three, four, five, six in the third part. And all of them are roots. Root, 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 root across each of the four parts of the song. So let's take this, um, this new approach uh, and we're gonna play for those six notes in each part. Root, root, third, third, fifth, and fifth. Root, root, third, third, fifth, fifth. Um, but instead of, um, imagine I've got six fingers here for a second. This is our first note in the left hand, second note in the left hand, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Instead of playing root, root, third, third, and fifth, fifth, in that, um, uh, in that way, we're going to slide the pattern to the right or left a little bit. Uh, so if we slid it to the right one, uh, one of these notes, we'd end up with our first root here, then root, third, third, fifth, and fifth here. So our root, root, third, third, fifth, fifth pattern starts on the second note. Root, root, third, third, fifth, and fifth. So our first note in that sequence is a fifth. 
What happens if we apply that to progression four? You're going to end up with something like this. Fifth of four is one. Root of four is four. Root of six is six. Uh, then we end up in thirds. Third of six here. Uh, and then third of one. Fifth of one. And then um, we'd end up in the next part. And we'd have the fifth of four. If I apply that structure, to, that approach to the whole song, we end up with this. logical approach there produces something beautiful. Um, forward plays a couple of different variations in um, Bira Online. This note is a little bit awkward to play when you're doing something over here. Um, let's say we were playing our Cascade. So we began like this. Oh, sorry. We have to sort of jump down to pop that note three in between our right hand note. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, that note three is a bit awkward, so forward um, substitutes it for a note five, giving us. Sometimes, he doesn't do it all the time, he does play that one. Um, but that's a nice way of uh, replacing our note three um, over here, so that you can play a nice pattern in the left hand uh, and concentrate on what you're doing in the right, add some extra flavors over here. Um, he makes another adaption sometimes. I'm gonna show you two more adaptions that he makes. The, the next one's, the, the later one is really pretty. So our first, we've got that one. Um, Instead of a note one now, it plays a note two sometimes in anticipation of the next chord. So from the beginning. I'll notate all of these for you. Um, Another thing he does sometimes is instead of playing this in chord five into chord seven, um, sometimes he pops a note four instead of a seven, it's fifth. Uh, that's a really sort of nice uh, way of punctuating the cycle. Uh, with all three of those adaptions, that note five. This note two, this note four, cool. cool. Um, there's another extra little flavour that he puts in sometimes. Um, it's logical still, we end up, um, instead of playing these first three notes, um, he's playing a fifth, a fifth, and a root, giving us. Oh, sorry. Does the same again. Fifth, fifth, root. Oh, sorry. he does that sometimes um, but not all the time so uh, yeah quite often you hear this seven so 
a few different adaptions you can pop into that one. But this video today is more about this root, root, third, third, fifth, fifth slid against our um, left hand notes. So the you're not going to play two roots in the same chord. You're not going to play two thirds in the same chord. You're going to play two fifths. We're going to slide it. And there's three different positions that you can end up in. Um, the first position, or I don't, yeah, there isn't a first, second, or third. One of them is where the first note is a root, and then the next two notes are thirds, next two are fifths. So we could start on a root, or we can start on a third, next two notes are fifths, next two are roots. There's another third there. A uh, the next position is starting on a fifth, next two are roots, next two are thirds. There's a root there before coming back around again. So this Nemo Musasa one um, starts on a fifth. Let's see what happens if we start on. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go to the Mbavarira one. Let's start on a root. So our progression is two, four, six, two, four, seven, two, five, seven, three, five, seven. The root of chord two is a note two. Uh, and then after roots, we've got thirds. So our third of two is four. And our third of four is six. Um, yeah, we're playing root, third, third, fifth, fifth, root, across the whole song structure, and it ends up giving us something like this. So used to playing this one from a different point in the cycle. Um, if we start at the beginning of the sixth chord, we end up with this. So a common adaption, rather than playing that note three, because that's our awkward note, um, a four is played, and that gives the song some congruence with itself because this four is getting used sort of at the beginning of every other phrase apart from one. Um, one starts with this note five. Have a little listen, look out for that note four. This note five getting used once. the note three here. Cool. Uh, there's something extra I'm going to show you about that one in a second, a way of making it um, more interesting. Well, there's lots of ways you could do that. Um, but this one idea you're going to be able to apply to your little composition or whichever exercise you choose. Um, nice one. So then, uh, what did we do for Nomi Musasa? We started on a fifth. Um, Bavara, we started on a root. And I put together a little idea starting on a third and um, using progression six, it created this pattern. So loads of repetition there. First three little um, groups of three notes are. Last uh, three groups of three notes are. And what's really interesting about this pattern um, is that if you plotted all of those notes out, how many did we have? Six notes for each of the four parts, 24 notes, you end up with this massive um, pattern that has got rotational symmetry um, or retrograde inversion. So let's pop my right hand against that. Also, 
awesome. Um, right hand, we're going to be looking at some really nice ideas in the right hand next week. Um, so what I want you to have a go at is grab a pen and paper. If you can do this in your head, awesome. Um, but uh, most of us will need a pen and paper. Have a look at the structure of the um, song that you've chosen, or the progression that you've chosen. One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. Um, decide how you're going to place this pattern, root, root, third, third, fifth, fifth, across your, across, you could write it across the top of the page. Um, see where you're going to slide it about, so you can have it, so the first note is a root, the next is a third, third, fifth, fifth, and root. Or you can start on the third, so you have third, fifth, fifth, root, root, and third. Or you start on the fifth, so you have fifth, root, root, third, third, and fifth. It's getting used in traditional variations. Um, it's going to get you um, thinking about your note choices, coming up with a new style of pattern that produces this low, mid and high. Groups of three notes, low, mid, high, low, mid, high, all the way through the song structure. And that's going to break us free of the... Um, this sort of four beat chords, these, these low mid highs end up, we've got a chord here, a chord here, and a chord here. These low mid highs span sort of like a chord and a half. Um, so it's gonna create a new flavor in your playing that breaks down these sort of edges and produces these melody lines that you can start to sort of place against each other. We already freed our hands up um, our right hand when we did bridging and spilling that kind of broke us away from this sort of boxed in chord approach and then the pairs exercises as well that breaks down those sort of edges of the boxes too this approach is going to break down the edges of the boxes so this sounds like a a, a phrase it sounds sort of complete in itself and then next and they are spilling over yeah, our chord sections. Um, with that approach in your hands, we're gonna be able to open up something new, um, or plenty of new things. Let's take the Bavaria one, for example. Um, I'm playing from here. We had low, mid, high if we started at the beginning of the song. So the two down there were sort of like the low, the mid, mid, high. But if we start at the beginning of chord seven, we have mid, high, low, mid, high, low, high, low, mid, high, low. Um, I'm gonna play the the second note in each group of three. I'm gonna play it again immediately before um, before where it would ordinarily appear, but in the lower register. That approach, if I continue it across the whole song, you end up with. This, this three note pattern, we can call it, although I've used that language elsewhere, gets retained and there's an additional note. So instead of, we're hearing. Um, we could apply that same idea to the Nomi Musasa structure instead of, we could have, um, when we get to this bit, it's a bit awkward. I'm gonna play uh, across the whole song. Um, I'll pop the right hand in in a second.
sorry. So that's an advanced idea. Um, if you do the exercise, you produce your own song that's got the low, mid, highs, um, using that root, root, third, third, fifth, fifth approach and sliding it around, you can also take the, the middle note in each group of three notes and repeat it in the lower octave to produce this um, approach that's used. Um, be careful though, be aware it produces some unfaithful notes, so notes that aren't boots, um, thirds or fifths of the chords. Um, but this approach is getting used. Just be aware of how it's breaking the rules so that you know, um, so you've got that in, in your awareness. Awesome. You're going to end up with something really pretty. If you've got any problems, reach out to me. Um, and also, if you know of any traditional songs that use the, um, that start on a th that you use this pattern and start at the beginning of the song structure as we're approaching it using a third, then fifth, fifth, root, root, third for these strings of six notes. Um, let me know, I'm fascinated. I found plenty that start on a fifth um, or that start on a root, but not on a third. Uh, so I'd be really interested to hear that from any of you if, if you have that. Cool. Um, nice one. So there's a lot to absorb here today. Next week, we're going to be looking at something. Um, uh, I'm not sure that I can play this right now. I was going to practice it for next week. That um, is going to open up something new in your playing. Uh, Gift McGuiddy in Beer Online is playing quite a lot of variations where he's playing a note in the right hand on every beat. Let me just see if I can do that for a Bavaria structure. Um, I'll do the one that's got the low notes in as well. Um, let's just, I might come in and out of it as I'm sort of getting bored or less comfortable with the idea. So busy right hand parts, we're going to look at next week, I'm going to give you a really useful exercise that I found super valuable. Um, so you should be looking forward to that and uh, good luck with the, the, your uh, exercise, your practice from this first video of Year of Mbira. Nice one. Check out the downloads as well. Um, they're going to be there to support you. Thanks everyone. <laughs>